Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from pro, college basketball, UFC, MMA, and more. You always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. With live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. Bet Online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and receive a 50% off welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use your promo code BLEAV, B L E A V, to receive your awards. Bet Online. Dot AG, where the game starts, was a proud sponsor of the Boss Man Show on your radio. Back here on the Boss Man Show at the MAC, Conference Tournament Champions, Kent State, Golden Flashes coach, Rob Senderoff. Coach Senderoff, we're going to talk to you again. How's life today in Kent, Ohio, man? Everything's great in Kent, Ohio today, man. It, it, you know, it's funny. It's snowing out here, but it feels like uh, the inside, it feels like it's 75 and sunny. I hear that, Coach, man. Uh, we talked earlier in the year, man. He was playing very, very well in the, in the non-league play there. Guys at the MAC play there. Uh, play really well. So how does it feel, man, to be going back for the first time since 17, man, knowing you've been putting in all this good, good work over the years? Yeah, just happy for our players and happy for, you know, our program and and the city of Kent and, and Northeast Ohio and uh, and the university. It's a great, great feeling for all these people. No doubt. Now, Coach, did you feel like back in workouts this summer that you had a team that you got to get this accomplished this year? I know you had some guys coming back as well. Do you feel like when we got started in June there, that, hey, we had some special here brewing this year. Yeah, you know, we we brought a lot of guys back from a team that went to the finals last year in the conference tournament. Uh, so we certainly felt like, hey, we have a team that can do this. Um, you know, everything's got to break your way. You know, you got to have a little bit of uh, fortunate stuff to go, you know, your way throughout the year. But we've had a great year. He played incredibly up in uh, incredibly up in uh, Cleveland last weekend, and uh, we really earned this right. So excited, excited for these guys. And coach, talk about establishing the right habits because to win twenty eight games, you have to establish the right habits every day, the process every day. Even on a mundane day, you still bring it the same way, whether it be drill work, all that kind of stuff. But what about your team's process and their mindset and committing to good habits day by day? Yeah, we practice hard. And if you if you come through our practices and our workouts, you'll see really, really competitive practices. Um, and that starts with our seniors, uh, in particular, Malik Jacobs and Sincere Carey. Those two uh, kids really don't take practices off. They, they go hard every day. And uh, we have a great scout team, too. Uh, I got a number of guys who are redshirting, a couple guys that are scholarship guys, a couple guys that are walk-ons that you know could play you know at, at other places maybe on scholarship and they they we call them the strike team and they make our first unit and and guys that are playing they make them uh go hard every day too so they're really competitive no doubt coaches you know man competition breeds so much for a team and watching your team play man I just love how they were connected out there man they was together they was in tune to you guys as well about that as well. Have some teams are successful when they're connected and together. And I've seen every guy stepping in their role. I know a couple of your guys play heavy minutes, but the other guys who not playing as much are still engaged on the bench. Talk about the connectivity of your roster, coach. Well, we had the sixth man of the year in the league in Jalen Sullinger. Um, and he certainly plays starter minutes, but he comes off the bench. And and quite honestly, if he didn't win sixth man of the year, 
Chris Payton would have won it. Um, it, it was one of those because both of them are are like our six man. Uh, Chris Payton had 17 points in the MAC championship game, and uh, again, he's more than willing to come off the bench. I, he's never even asked me about starting. Same with Jalen, and you know, to have a good team, you you have to have guys that that are willing to sacrifice. Uh, for the betterment of the group, and that that's what they do. No doubt. And that's so, 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 so important, Coach, because you know and I both know this, uh, role acceptance is big in basketball, which is very, very good to see your guys do that, man. And also, I want to ask you about Sincere Carey, man, Trump MVP. Um, I, yeah, I guess seeing him, see, see him play it was great to see him, see him play. So talk about what he brings to your team on and off the court, Coach. Yeah. Well, listen, Sincere uh, – I, I it, it's hard for me to put into words uh, just how much he's brought to this university and to our program. This is without question, the most competitive guard I've ever coached. He's the best two way player I've ever coached. And when I say two way player, I mean, he defends as well as he scores. Uh, he's a machine in practice. He He never takes a practice off. He played 40 minutes almost every game in the MAC tournament. Um, th there's very, very few in the country like him. So I'm really excited for him to get to play on this stage uh, and for everybody to be able to talk about Sincere Carey because he's got an unbelievable story. Um, and as a player, there's very few like him in the con in the country. Coach, if you feel free to share more about him for publishers and hear to know more about since here is his, his backstory, if you don't mind. Yeah, well, you know, his backstory is from Farrell, PA. Um, he was adopted by a family in Solon, Ohio. Um, when, when he was, you know, younger, um, he went to Duquesne, which is back in Pennsylvania, and played very, very well there and was a, was a starter and on the all-freshman team. But you know, his his, uh, his happiness and enjoyment for basketball really left him. Uh, and that was during COVID, which, you know, we, we know COVID hit different people in a really different way, right? And he was close to giving up playing. Like, that's how bad it got. He just didn't enjoy playing basketball anymore. Um, he wanted to come closer to home, which, again, Solon is 30 minutes from Kent. And... um his his father is a you know his adoptive father father uh called me and asked if we would want him and i i told him at that point i said you know i've recruited a lot of good players that have chosen to go to other schools i've never had a good player call me and ask if they could just come without us having recruited them and um you know he came he sat out that year and I, I, I think the love of basketball came back to him because of his comfortability. Um, he then went on to be the MAC player of the year last year. And then this year, he was first team all conference and MAC tournament MVP. What, what an unbelievable uh, two years he's had here. And a story of perseverance, Coach, because like I said, you said he could have gave up many a times, he could have tapped out, but hey, to sometimes come close to home gives you that, that new fountain, that 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 new hope and that new belief and new vision. So I love hearing that about Sincere Carey. And also coach another great player, Malik Jacobs, this player of the year in the MAC conference. Talk about what he brings to you defensively as well. I, I could watch him. I'm like, this this, this dude can, can't compete. He loves to compete and get on the outside of the floor and make love to life for a living. You know, you know what? Let's talk about yeah. Malik Jacobs, man. Yeah, that's what he does. He's he's the heart and soul of our team. Uh, and his competitiveness is what drives these guys day in and day out. And, uh, you know, he will guard one through four. He, he, in, in the Mac tournament, he, he, he guarded a kid named David Coit, who I think is fantastic as a scorer. And he really limited him in this, that he was a two guard in the semifinals. He guarded Xavier Castaneda who averaged 23 points a game. Who's a point guard. He, he, I think Xavier Castaneda shot five for 18 in the MAC tournament. And then in the finals, he guarded uh, JT Shoemate, who's a four man, who's first team all conference player. JT Shoemate was only able to get five shots up against us, and two of them were blocked by, by Malik. He, he's as competitive a player and versatile a defender uh, a, as there is. And um, 
excited for him too, him and his family that that he's getting to play on this stage because he has earned it. If if you again his backstory, you know he he went to high school, went to prep school after high school because couldn't find anybody to want him. Went to JUCO, that JUCO didn't want him after a year. Went to another JUCO, came here during the COVID year. Had never visited, never met anyone. Just showed up because we were fortunate enough to recruit him. And uh, you know, last year he missed the first half of the MAC tournament championship game. Um, and this year for him to come back and be able to do what he did, uh, just awesome. No doubt, Coach. Let's just man. Did, did you feel like dropping that game the ball state helped? Reset and recently you guys are able to coach a little bit harder, kind of get the get guys back focused. Marcus streak you're on right now. Yeah, I, I I certainly think that was a turning point for us. Um, you know, we we had a little um, you know, we had a team meeting after that game. We had a a meeting that I talked with our guys about appreciating each other uh after that game. So I, I do think so. I think that that was a turning point for us. We were playing pretty well. Uh, one of our starters had broke his hand, so we were able to make an adjustment. But we went down there, and um, you know, Ball State really got into us, and and we didn't play well at all. And more importantly, we didn't compete for each other in that game the way we we know we need to. Uh, from that point forward, we sort of had a motto, which was "Do what we do." You know, let's stay within ourselves and do what we do. Uh, at that point, it had gotten us something like 22 wins or 21 wins in six. It's what we were after that game, something along those lines. It was like, all we have to do is do what we do. And, and let's stay within that and appreciate each other. And from that point forward, we haven't lost. And uh, I feel like our guys have really bought into that. And Coach Cindy, look, looking, at, looking at your, you know, look at your, at your non, non con, you guys have played a tough schedule. You, you played teams in the tournament very, very closely could have won those games. So, so, so fans out here who are not very much in tune the way I am, you all play some tough teams that could have won those games. So for the listeners out there, tell us about how you feel going into Indiana and knowing that you compete against our five schools at a close level and could have won those games this year. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we have a ton of respect for Indiana, right? And, and whoever we're going to play is one of the top, you know, 15 teams in the country – four seed you're in the top 16 so we know how good they are uh at the same point confidence is not going to be an issue for our players we have guys that play with a chip on their shoulder and i think those games in the non-conference you know houston gonzaga gave our kids that confidence now whether we can go out there and and do it we we don't know because we we haven't done that yet but as far as believing in ourselves, as far as feeling like, hey, we have a good enough team to do it, that that's not going to be an issue. So, I mean, Indiana has, you know, an, an All-American in Trace Jackson Davis. I know I voted for him for first team All-American. Um, you know, Sh Hood Shafino, I think he's a lottery pick from what I understand or, or certainly, you know, in that conversation. Oh, that's a pretty talented player right there. And they have other guys that, they're at Indiana for a reason. I, I, when you coach at, at Indiana, you're not taking uh, two star players, right? You're getting the cream of the crop in terms of players. So we know they have a really good team. Coach Woodson's an, obviously a, a phenomenal coach. He coached in the NBA for a number of years. I mean, you, you're not finding better coach. So the, those things we know are going to be tough. But as far as our confidence going into the game, we feel like we can compete with anyone. Yeah, Coach. He was my first coach here in, in Wild Guy with the Hawks in the awesome. 07. He was my first coach. So he he helped make me the media man. He was my first media guy to deal awesome. with. So he definitely molded me as a media dude, learning from, from Mike Blitzen. And uh it's been it's fun, it's fun to see you ball compete because I told I told him I like Coach Sandy Cindy as well, Woody. <laughs> I'm neutral. I like both of you. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, I like both of you, man. It's very fun to see you all play. And before you go, Coach, give me a good story about our good friend Longo. I, 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 I you say on the radio about Coach of my man Mike. Of who? Oh, Longobardi? Yeah, yeah, on, on our staff. Yeah, listen, Mike is an awesome dude. His golf game is not not that good. Uh, me and him, some we 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 like to 
I mean, mine's not that good either now. So we like to hack it around a little bit uh, during the the off season. Um, he a great dude, Mike, who uh, I've been friends with for close to 30 years now. So uh, his success, you know, in, in the NBA is, is something that I really admire. And uh, he's such a good dude. The only problem with him is that he loses a lot of balls on that golf course, man. He he, he is he is hitting them uh, into the woods. Uh, he is hitting them into the water. Uh he he is he is not straight and he is uh he he he's not a great putter. So uh you can tell him I said that too and tell him that I'm looking forward to uh to getting a rematch here this spring. I'll send him at four o'clock today at the arena, but I told him I was gonna have you on the show today. He's like, Oh, send you like half o he half what I was talking to him. So yeah, he was yeah. looking he was happy to hear I'll have you on the show on the on the show today. So awesome. I'm asking you asking you a little bit about uh, my man yeah. line goes, I call it. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. Awesome, man. Hey, awesome. Coach, best luck to you. I hope to Thank talk to you next week, man. After you get in the Sweet 16, hope I, I Listen, I, I hope I'm getting a request from you. That would be cool. All right, Coach. See you soon, buddy. All right. Take care now. All right. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from pro, college basketball, UFC, MMA, and more. You always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online With live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable, Bet Online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and receive a 50% off welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, to receive your awards. BetOnline.ag, where the game starts, was a proud sponsor of the Boss Man Show on your radio. <laughs> 